Jailing someone and arresting someone are easy to do. Um, breaking down what brought them to the system is very complicated and very important to do. Re-entry begins at entry. That means the minute they get here, we have to figure out what can we do to better prepare them to get out. For too long, we, we pretty much just built prisons. And when they got full, we built more prisons. I mean, we spend a billion dollars of state money. We can't afford just building more jails and locking more people up. We need to provide the programming to get those individuals back into our communities and contributing to society rather than just simply being a, a drag on society. I think we try to give them a purpose on trying to rehabilitate them into the new life that they're fixing to face when they come out. Because when they come out after so many years that's in our jail especially, they don't know where to start at. And what they do, they go back to their friends and go back to their same old style of life when they need to be changing it. Ninety-five percent of offenders that are incarcerated are going to return back to the community. They're going to be your next door neighbor. These programs are important because we give them the tools to succeed and in turn will actually promote public safety, which is our number one goal. Uh, I don't believe in looking at an offender as an offender. I believe in looking at an offender as a human being and in the business that we're in, taking care of people and helping them grow into better human beings so they can be released back to society. And what we do is we give them the tools to better themselves. We have a, a large group of programs across our facilities. Vocational training, I think, is key. Teaching an inmate a certified vocation in one of our facilities prepares them to go home. And at the end of the day, if they can go home and not return, we have a safer Tennessee. We, we reduce recidivism, and that's our mission, really. We are one of the only degree-bearing programs in the South. Participation in a college program and a post-secondary program while you're incarcerated really helps to keep you from going back to prison. The recidivism rate for our students is about 6%. The work that we do here is the work of creating a community inside of a system that divides people from each other. So being able to create that community and having students be a part of that community, you start to see change almost immediately. I mean, students become leaders in this program almost overnight. I'm Don Finkel. I'm the CEO of American OEM Wood Floors. There's not much about being in prison that feeds your self-esteem. The dignity of work is really, I think, uh, inside everybody. I started about six years ago in the Building Trades program, which Tricor offers here at the Turney Center, and it's changed my life. It makes me want to be a better person. I, I can't figure out why every prison in the state hasn't got uh, a program like this. The first time I walked in the door, I had no idea what to expect. Basically, my exposure to prison was TV shows, movies, anything that we see, all see in pop culture. I never expected to see a freestanding wood product facility. And to see that really sparked my interest in, we've got to take this a step further. We really can't afford not to look at this issue. When I went to work here, all I wanted to do was, if I could just make a difference in somebody's life, no matter whose it was, if I could make a difference in their life, that's my goal. I've always enjoyed work with my hands and this has allowed me to kind of hone that skill set. And If there's not programs like this that are offered, then a lot of people fall right back into the things that got them in here. I think it'll, it'll provide a future for me upon release. If they get out, have skills, have learned what it means to be a good employee and to work, it's much better for a society. We're in the corrections business, we're not in the punishment business. Our job is to correct what brought you here in the first place so you don't come back. 
We have a barber school. We started a horticulture program. We have the Survey Certification Program. Those are sellable resources that they can take into the employment markets. Everybody needs to change in life. You know, we do so much wrong sometimes. The program helped me change my way of thinking. I can do other things to live and have an enjoyable life. To other wardens and sheriffs across the country, I would really stress the issue to them of how important the rehabilitation process is. That is what we're here to do, and that's the only way that we're going to make these guys and these, and these ladies better. We're going to make them stronger, and that's, I believe we can make everyone better than they were than they went, came in. That's our job. I would like to see legislature, the new governor, the new mayors of, of cities and communities all uh, agree that we've got some national crisis in front of us. Locking up and, and, and throwing away the key doesn't work. Daring people to stay off drugs doesn't work. Three strikes and you're out doesn't work. But when you break down why people come to jails and prisons and start doing something about that, it does work.